I was asked uh, by Donald Hoffman to come up with a mathematical equation for emotional states. Mm -hmm. And I did. I came up with a way to do it. And I figured out that there's a direct correlation between musical interval, which is really math, and emotional states. In fact, there's been a lot of research done on this from the standpoint of the relationship between musical intervals like the major third, right, minor second, minor seventh, all these, you know, perfect fifth, perfect fourth, et cetera, et cetera. And within musical interval, there's an inverse pair for each. So a fifth will marry with a fourth, a sixth will marry with a third, and a seventh will marry with a second. Notice they all add up to nine, right? An eighth, an octave, marries with unison. So they all add up to nine. And then within that, except for the fourth and the fifth that have diminished and augmented, and then perfect and perfect, all the other ones have polarity shifts, like major and minor, right? So you're getting a little bit of a music theory lesson here. And what I found was that the major third is exactly what everybody wants to listen to when they are thinking about romantic love. So in plays and movies, and you've experienced it, the moment that it's time for the hero and heroine to fall in love, they'll start playing music that has a lot of the da, 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 da. That's the major third. And when it's time for them to break up, then it goes, mm -hmm, and it goes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it becomes a minor sixth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, it went from feeling like love to heartbreak. Mm -hmm. And this is reported in like peer-reviewed kind of studies. And this is all mathematical ratio. And it could be depicted as a triangle. It's as simple as the height of a right triangle over one half its base. Or, half the, or rather, it's a right triangle, so just the base. The height over its base. And then to find its inverse that gives you the exact opposite emotional state, you take the full base of an isosceles triangle, those two right triangles now put into one isosceles triangle, and you take that over the height. So you've just flipped the numerator and denominator, and now you've taken a double length for the base, right? And that gives you the exact opposite feeling emotionally. So is this world we're living in a matrix of frequency that is intended to give us different emotional states. It's almost like, you know, you're a chef and you're putting together all these different foods and everything, and they're actually there to give us this cacophony or symphony of emotional experience. Mm. And the way we're experiencing it is for light, it's with our eyes and for Sound, it's with our ears, but it's still the same thing. And for taste, it's with our tongues. And with touch, but they're all just frequency. So we have these senses to be able to derive perceptions that then derive emotional states based on our interpolation of those things, which really cannot be separated from our own conditioning biases, mm. traumas, experiences. One person could experience the exact same thing. It was funny because someone was saying to me, one of the guys in my math team was like, oh, wow, you got this thing that's so cool. He goes, I heard that Apple's going to come out with a new version of this, that people will be able to play the games together, and they'll experience the exact same circumstance, but have entirely different experiences with it. I'm like, I think that's called the game of Earth. Somebody at Apple is really playing the God, playing the God role very well. <laughs> That's right. So when we now can understand that there's a means for us to derive, you know, different emotional states, then you start realizing it's like a ride at Disneyland. And the whole point is for us to just enjoy the ride because the maker wants to entertain us. And entertain themselves. And entertain themselves. Just sit back and enjoy the freaking ride already. Stop worrying. Stop fucking with everything. Feel your feelings. Enjoy the ride. Love more.
So easy. The <laughs> whole world will change when everybody does this. All right. So we, we feel our feelings. We enjoy the ride. And we love more. Should we make t-shirts? Should we make hats? What do we need to do? <laughs> Throw in some mushrooms too. So okay, it's like- mushrooms. Have sex on mushrooms. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. All of we the thought, We figured it out. We decoded the universe, you guys. We figured out the we meaning of life. We decoded the universe. I'm telling you, the <laughs> entire world will change once people start thinking instead of what the world can do for you, what you can do to augment and- add to the world that you wanted to see, be the change you want to see. Mm -hmm. It's really not more complicated than that. Mm. And then everything will become easier. You'll realize that you were always good enough. You'll realize that you were never too much. You were exactly what you were supposed to be. And you'll fall in love with the journey of life because this world is not a, an escape room to be escaped. This world is a an amusement park to be loved. <laughs>